Hello, we are SimVolt, a Ukrainian market of measuring instruments. We here at SimVolt have decided to make our own chart, top grain moisture meters that are presented on the Ukrainian market. So what have we got here? Y55 with a pressure cap and its skin, very similar moisture meters Agrotronics MT16 and FarmPoint. All of them have a pressure cap and all of them are dielcometric. They are measuring dielectric constant of uh, the material that is pressurized in the chamber. And we've got another wild model, wild 78 crusher. It is a special one which has small mill inside. It crushes the grain sample and it is dielcometric as well, but it measures the crushed sample. And we've got a series of dielcometric moisture meters from the Ukrainian brand Metrinko, M150G and M150GL, that have measuring rods. These rods must be put inside the grain. And uh, another model, M130G, that has a measuring plate. This plate should be submerged in grain in full. We have prepared a sample of wheat and we will compare all these moisture meters to each other and we will compare them in real time with a laboratory moisture meter, by the way Metrinko as well, uh, that essentially is a balance with a halogen lamp that dries the sample till its mass is constant. Since the measurement with a laboratory moisture meter is uh, long enough, we will start from it. So we weigh a sample of wheat, uh, what do we have here, 13.6 grams, and start the process. The halogen lamp has started, the sample is heated. In, meanwhile, we take our trusted, most popular YL55, take a sample of wheat and, and try to run. So we pour the grain sample into the chamber, almost to the top, and then we rotate the cap to pressurize it until the central element is a flush with all the cap. This is the needed pressure. By the way, these pressure caps are more or less easily broken because you need to use much force to pressurize the grain. Usually about a year and you have to buy a new spare pressure cap. Uh, we see that uh, wheat calibration is on program 1. So we set program 1, run. And uh, what have we got? We've got 12.9% of moisture in this wheat. And now we'll test its skin uh, on the exact same sample that we will pour into the next moisture meter. What's this? This is Agrotronics MT16. So we pour the sample, we rotate the cap, we pressurize it until the center of the tail is a flush, all the same. Here we have two calibrations, uh, soft wheat number 3 and hard wheat number 4. So we select number 3, soft wheat, and start. We've got 12.4%, 12.9%. Y55 and 12.4 MT16 from Agrotronics. And now we have farm point next of kin. So we pour the same sample, pressurize the cap. We turn it on. What have we got here? Buckwheat linseed, oh, wheat, and let's start. And farm point gave us 13.3% in comparison to 12.9 and 12.4. And now we move to unique YL78 crusher with a mill. It works a bit different. Uh, it, it needs a small amount 
of sample, either 9 or 18 milliliters, and it has a special cup of 9 milliliters volume to measure the sample. You pour either one or two cups into the mill and rotate the cap until it stops physically. The grain is crushed and uh, after that you measure. So we took one cup of the same sample of grain, we pour it, we crush it, we turn it on, what do we have? We have wheat 9 milliliters. Ok, let's start. And what have we got? 13.6 have we got. So, this type of dialchometric moisture meters with pressure caps give reliable results if you got enough sample of grain. And why in the world should you need YL78 crusher? It is the only device that has a very small needed amount of grain, 9 milliliters. You can take it directly into the field, take the grains from several years before cropping and measure should you crop it is dry enough or should you wait it is not dry enough that is why do you need this device in contrast if you are not shot with sample you have enough grain you have a sack of grain or a truck of grain or something that is where you can use metrinko moisture meters which are much more convenient in usage than pressure cap ones M150G and M150GL have the measurement rods of different lengths and this model 130G has a measurement plate that should be submerged in full. Uh, let's try, uh, let's presume that you have enough grain, for example a sack or at least a liter like we do. And we start it, we select wheat and we stick it inside. And what do we see? 12.6. And let's try again and again and again and again to get some statistics. So we've got an average of 12.6, 12.7 from M130G uh, to compare with 13.6 to 12.4 in pressure cap once. Note that you don't have to pressurize the cap. You don't have to use the force, you just stick the sensor into the grain. And M150s with rods, they are convenient because they have the sensor on the end of the road. The sensor is very similar to that uh, in uh, MT16 or YL55 or its skin. What is convenient in M150s with rods? That uh, sensor is uh, on the end of the road. It is comparable to that inside YL55 and its skin. Uh, so you can measure grain moisture in rather small volume around the rot tip. Uh, the volume is comparable to that of uh, chamber of YL. And uh, you can measure at different depths. You just uh, stick road deeper or less deeper and you get the moisture readings from different depths. Model M150GL has a longer rod and 150G has a shorter rod. Their sensors are absolutely identical. So let's try. Let's select wheat and stick the rod inside our sample. So we've got 12.7, 12.6, 12.8, 12.7 as average. Uh, note that uh, at the bottom sensor will fill the table and uh, our glass so we don't measure at the bottom and uh, 12.7 let's take another one okay so it is calibrated we have selected wheat and what have we got the same 12.7 12.8 inside and uh, 13 at the bottom so the sensors are absolutely identical. 
So all the results that we've got from all the moisture meters are within the acceptable range of error, which is, by the way, usually plus minus 1%. By the way, what have we got from our laboratory meter? 16 minutes have passed and 13% weight is lost and the process has almost stopped. Weight of the sample almost doesn't change with time anymore. Let's look at the exact mass. 11.860. Let's wait a bit. Shall we got 855? No, we don't see 855. So we presume that it would be 13.1, maximum 13.2% in the end. So all the moisture meters in comparison to laboratory balance are within the acceptable range of error. Surprisingly, the highest rating was given by YO78 Crusher. Actually, because it is intended to be used in the field to check should you crop already or not, is it dry enough or not yet, it is rather good that it gives a slightly higher reading. To summarize, all the tested moisture meters give reliable and more or less accurate results. While 78 with a crushing mill is the only one capable of measuring a very small sample, as small as the grain taken in the field from several years. If you are not shot in grain, you can use reliable pressure cap ones like YO55 and its skin. But Metrinco models 150 G and GL and 130G uh, show the results of the same accuracy, but don't bother you with pressure caps, using force, pressurizing the sample, you just stick them in and you get the readings. Metrinco M150G and GL allow for measurement of grain moisture at different depths. And Metrinco M130G has a big measuring plate that averages about 1 liter of grain and gives the most reliable results. If you have any questions, you can, as always, ask them in the commentaries below or ask our managers by email or by phone. Thank you for watching. Good luck.